Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranchi here, GearPop.com. Check it out. Today's video is all about installing Windows 8. Well, that's still Windows 7, but I'm very, very excited to give this a shot. Now, if you watched my previous video, then you already know that I was recently handed down an HP computer from my dad. Again, thank you, Daddy, for watching. Because he recently upgraded to a Dell computer, so he gave me this HP one. And it's only like two years old uh, or so, and I found out it has a one terabyte hard drive in it, four gigs of RAM. So overall, it's a pretty decent system, and it has a GeForce um, card in it. I'm really not sure of the specs, but I can find out later if you want. And uh, what else? Oh, and an AMD Athlon 2 processor. Nothing overly too exciting, but... Hey, it's fun to me. It's a free computer. So let's just jump into the uh, process. Um, again, I do have a wired Apple keyboard that I'm using for now. I know it's kind of sacrilegious connecting an Apple device to a uh, device that runs Windows. Hey, it is what it is. And I also have a Logitech M525, I believe it's called. Wireless mouse. It works great. And yes, I will be buying a Logitech keyboard very soon. J just a cheap one, like a wireless one, like a $20, $30 one. I don't know. Uh, just so I don't uh, use this keyboard all the time. I was going to be using this. This is an Angry Birds flash drive. There you go. I couldn't get his head off. But for whatever reason, Windows 7 would not format it. I'm not sure why. I formatted it on, on, on both Windows 7 just to test things out, and then OS 10. It, it formatted fine in OS 10, then I reformatted it in, uh, in uh, Windows, but it didn't format fine. Do you, anyway. Okay. It didn't work basically. So I went to the next step and that was to create a Windows 8 bootable DVD. Now in my opinion this is the better way to go anyway because while it's really cool booting from a flash drive, in my opinion it's more convenient to have a DVD that way you can just throw it in with the other software discs that you already own and that way you're not taking up an entire flash drive uh, that you might want to use in the future for data transfer or backup or anything like that. Oh, and yes, by the way, I did purchase the Windows 8 Pro upgrade for only $40. $40 is nothing compared to $120 or $200 or whatever the full retail price is. I'm not really sure. But I know you save more than double, which is pretty incredible. So if you are interested in saving on Windows 8, click the link below. Download it before January 31st, and you can save a lot of money. And also, if you are curious on how to install Windows 8 from a bootable DVD or flash drive, that link is also right below for your convenience. And now, without further ado... Let's turn the camera around, let's watch the monitor, and see how the Windows 8 installation process goes. Alright, that screen should pop up any second where I have to press any key to boot from DVD. There it is. As I missed the spacebar. There it is, Windows 8 logo, that is a good sign. Now we should wait about one or two minutes and we should see a little spinning loading indicator right there, and then we'll follow the on-screen instructions. Still waiting, about two minutes later. Yeah, there we go. Old loading indicator, as promised. All right, let's do this. All right, now it's asking me for the language to install. I'm um, obviously English, time and currency format, uh, English in the US, and keyboard format is obviously US. Install now. Now it's gonna ask me for my product key. Setup is starting. Let me get out my email, my iPhone. Okay, there you go, my product key is ready. All right, here we go, cool. Okay, product key has been entered. Accept the license terms. All right, now this is the important part. Do you want to upgrade? That means install Windows to keep all your file settings and applications, or would you rather do a custom install, which is advanced, and you can customize it. So we're obviously going to do custom install because I do want a clean start. I do not want anything regarding Windows 7 on here. All right, so let me see here. 920 gigabyte partition, HP, drive options, advanced. Um, I think that's going to be, yeah, format. This partition might contain important files from your computer manufacturer. That's okay, right? Yes. Let me just format it. I might lose certain drivers for whatever that is specific to this HP desktop, but whatever. We'll worry about that later. 
Alright, so let me do a refresh just in case. And it looks like it's ready to go. Your computer will restart several times. Cool, getting files ready for installation. The copying Windows files are already done. We're on step two of five. Next up is installing features, installing updates, and finally, finishing up. And yes, you can see a nice progress bar down here. We have a long way to go. Holy crap, guys, it's done already. Are you serious? Why was that so fast? It's as if it's too good to be true. Very odd. No, we will not boot from DVD. Try to trick me. That's a good sign. Guys, this is really exciting. This is an entire new OS for me. I'm very excited to learn it and use it and play around with it and install some of my older games, provided they work, such as Red Faction and Unreal Tournament and all that good stuff. God, Red Faction over the PC was so freaking good. Such a good game. It's 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh. I currently have the sound outputting from my Mac's internal speaker, since the PC is using the Logitech speaker uh, set for the time being. <sighs> waiting, waiting, waiting. It's not the quickest boot up. You can do it! What are you doing? Come on! Hang in there! What are you doing? Seriously, what is the deal? Yeah. We obviously have an issue. Okay, so I ended up opening the HP desktop and removing the media card reader, which obviously requires very specific HP drivers, because I've heard this could fix the issue. So we'll see. Let's see if it boots. Please let it boot, because I honestly don't know how to fix this, at least as of right now. Guys, I think I got it. I went into the BIOS, and I changed my SATA to IDE. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me restart this and show you exactly what I did, because this might fix this for you. I might need to do a hard shutdown, we'll see. So I don't think the media card reader has anything to do with it. So if this does work successfully, I will plug it back in and see if it all continues to work successfully. Okay, again, if this does boot successfully, I'm going to go back to the BIOS by pressing F10 and show you exactly what I did. The Windows 8 logo looks higher res now, as if the graphics drivers kicked in. So that could be a good sign. Let's see. Ooh! Okay, here we go. Sweet! Okay, hold on. Now, before I do this, let me do a hard shutdown. This is probably not good for the computer, but let me show you exactly what I did. Alright. Change this back to VGA real quick, because my monitor always reverts to whatever is the active source. Go to VGA. As soon as you see that, press F10 to enter the BIOS. If they still call it BIOS, do they? Now, go into Advanced, right there, down here, SATA Controller, Enabled, SATA Controller Mode, it was previously AHCI, change that to IDE. Now, I cannot confirm whether this works for everybody, but I did see other people saying online that this is the solution, so for me and this setup, it seems like it's going to do the trick, exit saving changes, yes, and now it's going to reboot again. Alright, so we're right back where we started, which is a good thing, because I did not change anything this time. Okay, here we go. It's going to ask me to personalize my setup, and I'm assuming that's a good thing, meaning I'm finally in the Windows 8 interface. Okay, well, again, here's the higher res Windows 8 logo. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blown out in the monitor. That's okay. 
Actually, you know what? Let me zoom in a bit for you guys. Pick a color you'd like to give your PC, a name, any name you want. You'll be able to personalize more later. Is my mouse working? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this is pretty sweet. I'm going to do... Let's go with a lime green right now. It's my favorite color. Answer a name for this PC. I will change this later. Let me just call this Windows 8. Whatever. Use Express Settings. Now let's customize it. Yes, turn on sharing. Connect into your network and applying settings. Okay, good, here we go. Help protect automatically, uh, blah, 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 automatically install. I wish you could use your mouse for this. I guess you can't. They don't make it very clear which one you're selecting in terms of all the options. Automatically install important updates, yes. Automatically get device drivers, yes. Help protect, turn on Windows smart screen filter. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that on for now. Turn on IE, smart screen filter, send a do not track request, okay, that's fine. Again, I'll customize this later. Uh, help improve Windows Store by sending URLs for web content apps use. Sure, why not? Wait, what the? Really? They don't make it very clear. You get like this little gray dash border box. It doesn't, not very intuitive. Use Windows error reporting, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Email address. Again, I can customize all this later. DavidFranco at gmail.com. You know. Oh my god. Next. There you go. Oh, there we go. Connecting to the internet. Username. Let's just go with David. Ask me for a password. Password hint. You already know it. Finalizing your settings. Okay. Hi. Hello. While we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. After your PC is ready. Move your mouse into any corner. Okay, here we go. We're getting your PC ready. This will take a few minutes. Very nice touch with the color spectrum. Let's start. Ooh. Guys, we are up and running. Very nice. Mail. I'll add all that soon. How the hell do you exit? Pressing home doesn't do anything. My mouse isn't even showing up. Is that weird? And there you have it, guys. A somewhat successful installation of Windows 8. I'm stuck at this mail screen. I'm not sure what the deal is. I can't even use my mouse. And I can't even press escape to go back to home. I don't know. I obviously have a lot to learn, but that doesn't even seem like a user error. That seems like something's wrong with the OS or the installation. Either way, I'll figure it out. But the good news is, is that Windows 8 is installed. I just have to figure out what the rest of the issues are. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you can avoid any future problems because of things I taught you in this video. Seriously though, guys, it is always a good idea to run into errors. I know, that sounds like crazy talk, right? No, 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 no. At least in terms of YouTube content, I don't mind sharing my problems and my errors with the world. I mean, if you can learn from my mistakes and avoid anything I did wrong, then in my eyes, that's a win-win. All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to go reconnect that media card reader, even though I don't think I'll ever use it. But I do want to see whether or not it's a compatibility issue. I doubt it. You never know, though. It's always fun to experiment. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions regarding Windows 8, just comment below. Oh, and of course, if you do have any app suggestions or customization suggestions or any of that Windows 8 good stuff, just comment below and I will take your advice to 
better improve my, well, Windows 8 experience. All right, I'm gonna go. This mouse screen is just staring at me. What? I'll deal with you in a second. Thanks again, guys. See you in tomorrow's video.